All right, guys, our first recipe is Christmas crack. My Aunt Lisa used to make this for us all the time, so I figured I would give it a go. Mm -hmm. So we preheated our oven to 400 degrees. We have our Your Deli milk chocolate knocking wafers. Sounds, that just sounds good. Our brown sugar. Our saltine crackers. Our two sticks of butter. Vanilla. And yeah, I think that's all we needed. Um, Here. Sweet. You did a perfect proportion. I have Megan over here too. You want to get on this Uh oh, I broke one. Someone might be broke anyway in there. Torn. I'm gonna try my best. Maybe I should. So right now we're evenly distributing them all over the cookie tray. That's okay. I've seen people use saltine crackers for this, and I've also seen people use um, Ritz crackers. It's kind of like Jenga for the best squares. laid out like that. That is to make the caramel sauce over the stove. We have to place the one cup of brown sugar, the butter, the salt, and uh, stir it over a medium sized saucepan. And it says stir it for occasionally three to five minutes. Spell. Then butter melt and we'll stir it. Yep. Look at that swirl. Yeah. Alright, let it come to a boil. All right, our next step is to melt the chocolate and then we're gonna put that right on top of this and then we're gonna bake it. Chocolate is going into the bowl. We're gonna put it in the microwave until it is melted. Gingerbread. And look, it has measurement ingredients on the back. Pretty cool. Stay tuned. It's melted. And it's gonna, it's gonna be delicious. Get your face out. This is butter right here. Look at the lighting now. 
We got some better lighting, guys. Woo! Snap. And Shrek pose. And look at that gooey. Hey now, don't burn yourself. Look at that. Caramelized. Yeah, you could chill the crackers overnight. Look at it go, guys. Nothing better than melted chocolate. Mmm. It's actually like melted chocolate and brown sugar. Mm-hmm. Done. All right. <laughs> she likes chocolate almond. What is it called? Almond. They're called iced almond petal cookies. Are they gonna be shaped like petals? Yeah, or you can shape them however you want. I think this year I was gonna try to do the Christmassy cutouts, like gingerbreads and polar bears. Um, what else do we have over there? Gingerbread. Yeah, gingerbread. Thank you. I can't remember the name. <laughs> Snowflake. Uh, kind of looks like a Santa mold. Yeah, you can really use anything with these. This is um almond paste. It's very interesting. It looks like a bar of soap, guys. It does it's look like a bar of soap. Legit. It smells good. Why does it smell like that? Almonds. No, but it smells like it's got like, it's like citrus. Soap. Mm -hmm. A little mini one. Sugar. Let's see. How much bit. sugar? Three fourths cup. Granulated sugar. Move your onion in here. We, might we have another it. big bag. Yeah, once we go through this, we'll put the we fresh have a big in. in. We have a big bag. We need a big one. Big one. It's a big one. I hear it getting that butter. Or the almond thing, whatever that is. It's got butter in it, right? Mm -hmm. Probably. Almond paste. This is a crumbly. A low speed until mixture resembles coarse crumbs. With mixture at medium speed, add butter, beating until combined. So I need how much butter? Half a cup plus two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna make? Yep, it's an odd recipe. The way she cracks eggs is freaking awesome. Just saying. Mine always break kind of weird. So the egg cracking, yes you are. So let me throw it up. Why do you have this out? Because he needs to, he needs to separate them. Separate it. Get it all out. Especially with icing on it, so this will be. I didn't think I was gonna like it either. This will be interesting, huh? You know when old people come around the family table and 
you know, old food. I don't know if it's just my family. It's like, oh my God, it's going to be good. It's probably going to be terrible. But I'm telling you, these are good. We'll see. Right there. Pretty bowl. Oh, that's my uh, grandmother's bowl. It's a pretty bowl. It's my grandmother's bowl. She an oldie. Yep. Yeah. It's an old Pyrex. Yep. Okay. Medium bowl with together flour, lemon zest, and salt. Ooh, we need our lemon out. So I need one and three-fourths cups of all-purpose flour. Gotta get our lemon. Gotta get that boom, boom, pow. Boom, boom. Okay. All right, did it say lemon juice or lemon zest? Lemon zest. Okay, so we need the... Zester. Zest that lemon, girl. So you're just gonna uh, grind it on there. Probably rinse it first. Yeah, rinse her good and then dry it. I won't zest right. Gotta keep them separated. Now you got this on stuck in my head. All right. So how much of a zest? And I put that in the flour, right? Yes, ma'am. Look at this, guys. I so, washed it. I'm gonna zest it. Yeah, so you do zest just like that. Yeah. I don't know. It's gonna be hard though. So. Mm, smells good. Mmm, this does smell good. Fresh lemon. I've never actually zested a lemon before. It kind of looks like the same consistency of coconut flakes. I, think I remember correctly. If you zest the whole lemon. Okay. You're doing good. I flipped it. You did. Mm-hmm. You know what you're doing. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, but I think this might be enough. Maybe. Maybe, y'all can see ya. Kinda looks like coconut flakes. All right, so a medium bowl, we're together flour, lemon zest, and salt. Bro, and I did it perfectly. And of salt, good. This is a strong lemon, bro. Mm -hmm. Yay! Give us that thumbs up, guys. And continue watching. And subscribe. Did you put the salt in? Yep. Once that's mixed up good and you got the lemon zest in there, we're gonna fold it in here. So you can slowly uh get it in here. And a gonna be a freaking awesome treat day. Technical difficulty. Well, it's cooking and baking with me, so what do they expect? <laughs> Hey. And this actually does say you have to put it what? 
in the fridge for two hours too. Ooh, so good half. Shape each half into a disc and wrap in plastic wrap. So you can give me a plastic wrap. I wanna divide this up. You mix it together, your oils and everything. This is handmade cooking, guys. This is what you do. And this ain't store-bought, this is homemade. Okay, there's one little, one little piece laid out. And stay tuned guys, we are actually going to be doing a sand tart family competition. We're going to be using the Davis slash Ott family recipe, and then we're going to be using who's made yours? Gray side. The gray side. So a disc. This is basically what they mean by disc. You don't want to leave it in a ball. You want to pancake it. Yeah. And then she's good. And then she goes into the um, fridge for two, two hours. Two hours. Two hours, guys cool down and set. What's up? What's up guys? I'm doing my uh, family sand tart recipe. So uh, I'm gonna start with the butter. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. But as me and grandma, we believe. I love that song too. Oh. Can't go skimpy on the butter. Okay, butter portion is done. Um, next step. fourth cup of sugar I'm not telling you guys everything that I'm putting in here but uh if you see how much I put in then that's fine but for the most part yes that it is One teaspoon's worth. Melons. Oh my god. Melons. Alright, so one teaspoon worth of that. And then I gotta have you help me with the egg part. I need to do the egg. I have it in my hand. Okay, put in that. Mm, do this, the big one. The big one will be better. Where's it from? Where's it from? Can't remember. No. Yeah. What's his name? Little green guys. 
No, that's not Monsters Inc. That's um wow. Toy Story. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. They're like the claw. Look at this. Hmm. My dough is complete. I have to put it into the fridge overnight. And now we gotta move on to hers. Yep. Her family recipe. Egg and Jay's channel. Here we go with round two of the kickoff of the sand tart recipes. Now, as I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna give you what my recipe is, but you can watch what I'm gonna be putting in there. And if you do get a hold of it, then congrats to you, but this is an old time family recipe. So let's go right on into it. So, is that a what? Hi! Sand tarts. This is so I don't shake the camera. Haha. <laughs> Can you see yourself? Your beautiful self? with us the cool kids yep oh here's your green cup yay green cup guys <laughs> this is the best freaking root beer ever just saying Bedazzled. See, we're hiding our ingredients amounts so you guys can't see it with the flower jar in the way. Strategic. <laughs> I, didn't try that. I know. I gave them some of my measurements because I was being nice, you know, for the holiday season and all, but uh, I didn't say everything. Some sugar in the cat food, y'all. <laughs> hey, hey. It's gonna be crazy tonight. Oh, the cat's gonna be alive and awake. So, uh, have you ever made these before? All the time, every year. Once a year. But how many years? How many years have you done them by yourself? Three. Nice. Woo! And this little guy. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> the Pikachu guy. I'm being funny. Hi, Minnie. Come here, good girl, man. Are you going to tell them one ingredient that you're using or no? Sugar and butter. That's it? That's all you're gonna say? Sugar, sugar, butter, eggs, and flour. I'm not giving the other ingredient out. That's dope. Yep, I'm gonna do like, hopefully the eight to eight of these balls.
Bessie. With Over open here. Hearts and open air. With some cling wrap in the air. <laughs> it's Christmas time Bye. somewhere. But where? <laughs> I know where we are. <laughs> you said eight? You need eight? Hopefully I get eight. <laughs> Seven cling wraps. Cling wrap everywhere. <laughs> Look. Getting Isn't silvery it? and shiny and it's shimmery and everywhere. Actually, that's a really big piece. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Don't know what that was. This is her sand tart dough. She's going to be nice and let me try a little piece of it. Not a bad dough. Is it now? I still think mine did it better though, no offense. It's just something about the the recipe for my family. I just love like cookie dough recipes to eat it. It's just I don't know. It's mm -hmm. very good. Alrighty. Mm. Here she is, guys. Mini. Come here. My babies. Oh, my babies. Yeah. <laughs> Day nine. Hey, hey, hey. We're going to start with minis. All right. Day nine. Mini, come yeah. here. Want treatment? What color is it? Green. It's green. Come here, keep cookie. Come here, Minnie. Come get it. Good girl. That's our little reindeer. Good girl, Minnie. All right. I'm gonna do the chocolate one off camera, but we're gonna do her her day nine one for her Pokemon. Yeah, these things are coming by quick, guys. Like, oh my Lord, I feel like I just did this yesterday, which I did. It's like, oh my God, it's tomorrow already. <gasps> Evie. Ooh. Can you get her out? Some of them are hard to get out Yay. of the box. It's Evie. These are dope by Funko. Huh? So cool. You don't need to be afraid. I'm a big girl. I'm not afraid. All right, we're doing a infamous coffee try. She's got her Libra cup. That we've seen a guy do on TikTok. Mm. So we have, what is that? Tarani. Tarani. Caramel sauce. And this is the thick sauce. I'm gonna swirl it around town. That actually looks dope. Oh, damn. Look at you being creative. Ooh, yeah. Pretty good. Coffee is like the most important thing to my day. It wakes me up and makes me perky. Perky, huh? Mm -hmm. Damn, we could do like this two times on the cup. Well, where's your frother thing? 
Yeah, oh, grab your good. frother. Oh. Grab your milk frother. What we Throw sugar, coffee meat. But Bobby did something with it. It wasn't on the counter. Italian sweet cream. Heck, we got our tree over here. You are so cute. All right, we're gonna show the trees. Look at that, guys. Da 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 da. It feels like Christmas. Yeah yeah yeah. Let's go find the milk for other mini. They're avid fans. And look, this is cool because they like stack. We have this. We have a lot of ideas with this sticker book. Hi. Pretty baby. Santa, I know him. To another level though. Wow, I'm never gonna look at coffee the same. <laughs> this is awesome. Talk about that throth, guys. Woo! Did you add in the cream already? I did not. Ooh. Coffee and cream. Or was it sugar and cream? Sugar and cream. Silver and gold. That is your new favorite saying. Silver and gold. Yeah, so buddy. That is what we call a quality grade uh, frother. Shout out to all the Libras out there. Good morning, good morning. So nice Christmas. <laughs> ASMR sounds, guys. Dang. That's solid. Look, Whoop. it's like, that's a hard ball to handle. I know. This is you. This is your your thing right here right now. Well, we gotta let it. That's a lot of flour now. Not really. I'm gonna spread that shit out. I'm gonna spread it. Move them hands on there. Woo! Your ADD is so bad right now. Woo 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 woo. Oh my god. I know my ADD is from, or ADHD yeah, is trying to get you to Sterling's cookies has been like all morning long. Walking in a winter wonderland. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Fixing and blitzing and all his reindeer. Put it on your head. It's like, here comes, here comes Jesse Claus. Mm -hmm. I do need to actually let it get a little softer. <sighs> Look at that. My head. I look like a ghost. What? The fence is just amazing. She said she's going to nuke hers. I'm going to nuke it. Well, you're like, what the heck? Look at me like, what? What's nuke? Well, I don't, I mean, I know nuke means blow up, but like. Oh, like a nuke? Mm hmm. Dang, my wrist cracked when I did that. On the day. I got no my socks yet, guys. My cheetah slippers. She's somewhat matching. Not really. My pants aren't matching my I shirt. Only did, you know what? And say you weren't matching. A butthole? At all. No, you got camo pants on and Pooh Bear shirt. I look cool. You do. Coolest person I know. Sometimes. You are. I don't want to taste test it. Mmm. God dang. I love cookie dough, bro. Mm -hmm. Dang, we could have used my ninja blender too. That makes cookie dough. Stir Grinch. You really are an eel. You got termites in your smile. Friends, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. Heidi ho! It's my baby bear. What's all cute? 
Would you like to show the baby bear? No. Oh. I think it's in the closet. Every kiss begins with K. Sorry, guys, I'm a little hyper. Woo! Yeah, buddy! For real? So I'm going! So I'm going! Go. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have that on camera. <laughs> oh, God! As you get older, your hips can't move this as good. This girl's back and moving these hips still. I can't. Silver and gold. Yeah. Why do we like saying silver and gold so much? I think we have an issue. Where did my brain go? Out the window. To the wall. Cut down on the wall. Cut that paper down, or cut the paper roll. Oh, these, oh, all these elves cross. Hmm. Beep, beep. Mother, beep, beep. All these Santas go pow. Oh, the Santa's go raw. No, it should be the reindeer go paw. Mm -hmm. Get it? Holiday edition. Holiday for holiday edition. It's eggnog. It's so crazy. Oh, she did make that eggnog. Oh. Maybe I will try it when your parents come down. I will try yours and then I'll try your dad's. Yeah. I think. No, 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 no. Oh, ski, ski. Ah, ski, 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 ski. I got ADHD with anxiety. Bro, I think we all have anxiety. Bro, me. Especially around the holiday season. It's just... Hey, girl. One of them days. It's a violation. No, 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 no. Damn, girl. She's crazy. <laughs> Big <Bigamil. laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't fall down on that. Ashley Horner sent out her holiday box. Shout and you got this? Ashley Horner. And she sent out this. What else did you get in the box? I got my stocking. There's a stocking? Yeah. Did you hang it up? My stocking hat. Oh, she got a, also a beanie stocking hat that has like a little fuzzy ball on it. Yeah. So, uh. She lives in Virginia Beach. She's a personal trainer and enthusiast. She does lots of things. She's very cool. Yeah, so get one of her boxes, especially for a good holiday gift for your uh, sports junkie. You like that? You're getting some uh, ASMR sounds going on right here. I do. It reminds me of a shake weight. The rolling pin. The next step is to brush an egg white on top of the cookies. And then after that, we're gonna put um, sugar on top and then bake it for eight minutes. We add a little little ingredient at the end once it's done baking. What's that? You'll find out. Guys, she's not gonna know my next uh, ingredient that I use. So it's gonna be a surprise, but I'm gonna show you. All right. You put this, you just put a little bit on top of it. I want y'all to see this freaking roll action. That's okay. You got a little flyaways. Pause. Una momento. Keep rolling. And we're rolling.
See that? Look, see the thin consistency? 